my foot hurts and I ate too much at lunch and I think I'm gonna puke. <laughs> I am in Valdosta, Georgia. I think that's how you say it. Searching for the spirit Halloween that is supposed to be in the old Sears at the Valdosta Mall. And that is not it. Oh, okay. I just saw a guy go in here with a spirit Halloween shirt on. Hold on, I'll show you. Right there in front of me, look. Okay, there he goes. I don't know if he works there or not. He might even see this video later and be like, hey, that was me with all the tattoos on my legs. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Okay. All right, guys, we have found it after walking very far or about 20 feet. It's right there. There was no sign or indication outside the mall that this is where it was, so I had to come in to find it. And look what is lurking right inside the doors. We got Reagan, we got Grim, and we got Lucky Bottoms. Is he on? Is he going to start doing stuff? Come on, Lucky, I want to hear you. There's no way. There's no way that he's not turned on. Maybe it's one of these foot pads, um, whatever you call it. There he is. I was going to say, there's never been a store I've gone into, at least I don't think, where Lucky Bottoms didn't work that crazy guy. Okay, let's check out Grim here real quick. He's working. So do you. We got a whole bunch of jumping spiders here. Oh, Reagan is already going crazy over here. All right, spin that head, you crazy girl. Here's the projection, but you can just barely see it flickering back there. You know what, before we even go any farther, let's go over here and look in this little cove here and see what's going on here. I love to see the different setups of the stores. Looks like all this over here is Nightmare Before Christmas, and they got a lot of stuff too. This is cool. I don't know if I've seen this anywhere. Look at this. It's a glassware set, two glasses, and it says star-crossed lovers like Romeo and Juliet. I've been looking for the perfect apple cider cup, and this actually looks like it would be pretty cool. I just kind of worry about cups that are shaped like this because when I was in Las Vegas, I had one like this, and I rolled it over and spilled all my drink on the waitress. Look at this. They have the mystery packs sitting out amongst all this stuff rather than having them up there around the cash registers. Yeah, here's the Haunted Mansion here, and then they have the Hocus Pocus ones over here. Here's Trick or Treat, among all the Sam stuff, or at least these Sam things up here. They have almost all the new bobbleheads. What in the world? I don't think I've seen this, guys. Three rules for the gremlins. Keep them away from bright light, don't get them wet, and never ever feed them after midnight. Oh my gosh, guys, I just turned around and Sam scared the living crap out of me. We got the Beetlejuice mystery bags. Here's the horror properties, but I cannot find the ones with Michael Myers. Oh, look at this. This balloon has been showing up in several stores recently. They are stocked with all the new good shirts. Oh, except for maybe one right here that they don't have. But they do have all these that I haven't shown in quite a while here, or at least a couple of videos. <laughs> they are pretty stocked with everything in this store, actually. Here's all the Michael Myers stuff. I don't see the new Michael Myers mask, but it but might be back in the mask section if I could talk straight. Oh my gosh, what in the world has happened to this Freddy Krueger mask? It's like just scrunched up. I think Jason finally beat him. Okay, this is how hungry I am right now. I thought this said caramel apple. <laughs> they got lots of plush here, guys. About the only thing I don't see at the moment, at least, is the green Oogie Boogie. Wait, here's a Killer Clown shirt I don't think I've seen before. Look, it says it's crazy, and it just says Killer Clowns on the back. And then, of course, they have that t-shirt there. They are pretty stocked with the Killer Clown stuff. Whoa, look at this. I don't... I, I have not seen this anywhere else. The Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Acid Pie. Hmm, that's funny. They don't have the gun, unless it's in a different section, but they do have the Acid Pie. Wait a minute, what's this? I don't think I've seen this lanyard before either. Jojo Ice Cream. Oh my gosh, guys, have we seen this? The Sandworm One Piece Suit? There's not actually two of them in there. There's only one, but how cool is that? Hello, Bouncy Jack. Hello, rat. 
Okay, look at this, guys. I looked at these again in another store earlier today, I think. They have lock, shock, and barrel. And every time I see these, I think how cool these would look to hang on my office wall, and I don't buy them. How much are they? Let's take a look. $14.99 a piece. That is an awesome price for those. They have all three, and of course they have this guy too. <laughs> I just don't think I'm ready to get them though because I'm trying to plan out how I want to decorate my office and I'm just not sure where I would put them yet. Look, they even have Barrel's Lollipop though too. Is this an inflatable Pickle Rick? Okay, I don't think it's inflatable. It is a Pickle Rick, but I don't think it's inflatable. Oh my gosh, guys, look. This is only the second store that I've seen Frozone for sale in. I love this costume. And one year I actually dressed up like a Oompa Loompa. I made my own costume. Just gonna warn you though, it was pretty creepy. And I'll put a picture of it in here if I remember and if I can find it. Okay, look at this guys. I have seen these white glow-in-the-dark fangs, but I have never seen the black ones. I don't think the black ones actually glow in the dark, but how creepy is that? Holy crap guys, look at what we have here. A whole ton of animatronics and inflatables. All right, let's start over here, guys. We have Man's Possessed Friend. We have a little skelly bones peeking out here. We have a Grim and a Deadly Creeper. We have a Young Crouchy and a Nightcrawler, which for some reason I didn't realize he's in the new movie, but he is. Oh my gosh, we actually have a Sam. I don't think I've seen any animatronic Sams in any stores this season, guys. We got a Bog Zombie down here, a Mr. Punchy, and a Shorty. We have the enormous possessed pumpkin, Nozzles the Clown with his jalapeno nose, and Lucky Bottoms with no butt. We have the Reaper Inflatable, the Ghost Inflatable, the Fright in the Box, the Sam Inflatable, the Haunted Tree, the Jack-O-Lantern. We have the Gargoyle, the Ghost Face, the Tombstone, and the Secret Keeping Cat. Oh, we have three Secret Keeping Cats. And look at this one down here. It's the Creeping Cat going head to head with the Creeping Zombie Baby. Oh, I spy a bucket that needs some stickers. Okay, let's take a look here and see if they have that Michael Myers Halloween Ends mask. I don't see it. I do see Halloween 2 down here, and I see Halloween 1 up here. They do have all the new Star Wars masks. Wait a minute, have we looked at the creepy dolls yet? We have Rosalie and Pumpkin Nester. Remember how difficult he was to find at the beginning of the season, guys? We got two hugs down here and the creepy crack-headed doll. That's horrible. I should not get everybody calling her the crack-headed doll. She just wants to be loved. Hello, rat. Ooh, the zombie pathway markers are working, guys. Look how it flashes, that is awesome. And it makes zombie sounds. Let's do that again. I think this is the only store we've been in this season where they actually worked. The burning skull pathway markers are working too. I love those, I love how they're red. And I love these jack-o'-lantern pathway markers too, how they flash. They have the Frankenstein side steppers, the vampire door knocker, and the devil door knocker. Oh, and the pumpkin light here. Look at how he lights up and flashes. Okay, wait a minute, I missed something over here. Hold on just a second. Besides the five-foot Beetlejuice snakes, we have some Chucky's Good Guy dolls up here, and a Sitting Sam doll, and some Annabelles. Okay, guys, that was a pretty awesome store. They were very well stocked. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that store was number 57. So stay tuned, because we still have well over 40 to do.